Hi guys and welcome back to another championship prediction video. Now we're moving on to round 31 and you might be thinking, where's round 30? You haven't uploaded that. And that's true. It's because the six fixtures that have already been played from round 30, this was when Blues played Sheffield United, it was our 30th game. However, I don't know where the other six fixtures are. Two were played on the Wednesday, one on the Friday and three on the Saturday. But then there's six other fixtures that are missing. I've got to go and find them. I have put my predictions down for the games for the 30, 30th round and I did those beforehand. I didn't get any scores correct. But when the six fixtures for the rest of it are played... I'll upload a video before them and it will be called round 30. So this is round 31. Recapping round 29. We got one score correct. Huddersfield drawing one all with Stoke. I know it's a bit all over the place because of these missing fixtures. Gotta go and find where they are. I'm pretty sure they haven't already happened there somewhere in the future. But I will upload the video before those games are played, as long as they're all together. If they're randomly dotted about, then I don't think I've got a chance. Let's get in to my predictions. And starting off with Coventry taking on Blackpool. Now Coventry lost 1-0 to Middlesbrough in their last match, and they've lost three of their last five, winning the other two. Blackpool, unbeaten in four, won three of those, and their last game, winning 3-1 against Bristol City. So Blackpool, they're looking dangerous again. They ha did go through a bit of a patch where they couldn't really win a game. But they're looking dangerous now. And I favour them in this one. I think Blackpool are going to win this 2-1. Derby versus Hull now. And Derby haven't won in their last three. And they lost 2-0 to Huddersfield last time out. Hull, they had won three in a row and then lost 1-0 to Preston. And Hull, interesting stat about them, their last six games, only one team has scored in all those games. So, both teams don't generally score in Hull's recent games. And I wonder if that's going to continue here. I think yes, because I think Hull are looking quite decent defensively as of late. And Derby are going for a bit of a rough patch where they can't win a game. So I think Hull will win this. Low scoring, 1-0. Fulham versus Millwall now. And Fulham, I'm beating in five with four wins. So again, they do win a lot of games and... To be honest, I think they're going to win the league from here. Millwall, they're unbeaten in two. Drew their last game, 0-0, with Preston. But I just can't see anything but a Fulham win here. I think it will be tight, because a lot of Millwall's games do tend to be tight. But I think Fulham will be able to edge them, probably go 2-0 up. Millwall get a late goal. Fulham win. 2-1. Luton take on Barnsley next. And Luton, they're unbeaten in three with two wins. And they've only lost one out of their last eight games. So they're not losing much at all. Barnsley, on the other hand, lost five in a row. They've played 28 games this season and only won two of them. So I'm not going to be predicting a Barnsley win here. I think this is probably the most comfortable game here. The easiest to sort of say, yep, yeah, this team's going to win. And it's obviously going to be in Luton's favour. Barnsley, you know, they could surprise everyone and get something. But I just think with the contrasting forms between the two teams, I'd be silly not to go for Luton. So Luton to win, 2-0. Stoke versus Swansea up next. And Stoke, they've not won in three, and they've only won one of their last seven. They had spent quite a bit of time in the playoffs, or at least just outside. But they're really slipping now, and I 
I'm not sure with all the teams in form up there that they will end up in one of those playoff spots now. I think that ship might have sailed unless there's a drastic turnaround in form. Swansea, they got a shock 1-0 win against Blackburn. Wasn't expecting it. Maybe, you know, it's a sign of things to come and they can start picking up the pace because they're in a much lower position than they usually would be. They're normally quite good in the championship and they're up and around the playoffs the majority of the time. I'm wondering if they can pick it up. Obviously, I don't think they're going to end up in the playoffs this season. But, you know, that, that those 1-0s, I feel like that's a very Swansea scoreline this season. That might be completely wrong, but I think I've seen quite a few 1-0s. And when they win, it does tend to be low scoring. But I just think with this one, it's going to be a draw because Swansea, if they only win their games 1-0, I think Stoke have the attacking power to to put a goal past them. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I, to be honest, yeah, I just think this has got draw written all over it. And I'm actually going to go for no goals, 0-0. Bournemouth. Taking on Blues next. And Bournemouth, they have won one out of their last three in the league. It was 1-0 against Barnsley. But on the weekend, they did lose 1-0 in the FA Cup to non-league Boreham Wood. So, that was a bit surprising. They had a very good deadline day, bringing in players like Todd Campwell and Nat Phillips on loan and I mean Nat Phillips has had Champions League experience so there's some pretty good pulls in there even if they are only on loan and then they also got Sariki Dembele who Blues will know as we were linked with him they got him on a permanent so yeah they're the they're the key players that I think could really make a big impact to that Bournemouth squad but they're gonna need a bit of time to gel Blues we lost 2-1 to Sheffield United, and I hate to throw it at the refs, but it was poor again. I'm expecting another EFL apology letter, to be honest, because we've had so many already. There was a blatant offside in there for their second goal. We should have had a blatant penalty for a handball. I mean, the Sheffield United defender literally put his head, his hand on Gary Gardner's head and Gary Gardner went to head the ball, so it's hit his hand first, clearly. But what can you do? As long as we stay in the division, I guess we'll just deal with it next season again with loads of crap refereeing. For this game, anyway, I'm hoping we get a bit of luck on our side. Surely we'll get a good referee this week. I'm going to go... For a surprising result, I'm not going to go for a win like I have been recently with Blues, but a draw, I think it's achievable. One all. A big game in the playoff chase now. Blackburn taking on Forest. And you might think, playoff chase? Blackburn are already well up there. But I think they're going to start slipping and they need to recover form pretty soon. They lost their last game 1-0 to Swansea and they've only won two of their last six which is a pretty big difference from the form they were in where they were winning every week. So they need to recover that form again. Now Forest are in good form. Won three of their last four, losing the other one. But they played against Leicester in the FA Cup on the weekend and they smashed them. Forest won 4 1. And they're looking pretty, pretty solid, Forest. And I think, to be honest, they're going to end up in one of those playoff positions. I'm going to go in this one. Might be a bit of a shock, but Forest to win 2 1. Bristol City versus Reading next. And Bristol City are a difficult team to call. Now, They've lost three of their last five. The last game was a 3-1 loss to Blackpool. And they're very inconsistent in general. Reading, they have lost five in a row. 
and they haven't won in their last eight. Now with that points deduction on top, it means they're in a very difficult position. And if they don't pick up soon, their form soon, then they could get caught out and potentially go down. I think they are going to be in a relegation battle because they're not playing very well this season at all. This one, although Bristol City are so inconsistent and I'm not fully sure whether to back them, with Reading's current form, I'm going to do it. Bristol City to win, 2-1. A big game at the bottom here, Cardiff versus Peterborough. And Cardiff, they've won two in a row, and the last one, 1-0 one against Barnsley. A massive game for them because if they couldn't beat Barnsley, they'd be in a bit of a difficult position. But beating them just makes that gap even bigger. And I think Cardiff will claw their way to safety this season. Peterborough, they haven't won in five and they've lost four out of those five. So, really struggling. We know how bad they are away. They've only picked up two results away all season. One win and one draw. So, I'm going to back Cardiff here. I think they'll win it 2-0. Preston versus Huddersfield now. Preston only lost one out of nine, and they get quite a lot of draws under Ryan Lowe. Huddersfield, they are unbeaten in ten, and they won their last game 2-0 against Derby. Now this one for me, I'm pretty, pretty certain on a draw. I mean, anything can happen, but if you just look at the fact that Huddersfield are unbeaten in so many, and... Preston have only lost one of their not last nine. Sort of hints that that's going to continue and they're going to draw, especially with all the draws that Preston have been picking up over the you know the last month or so, last few months. So I'm going to go for a draw, one all. And another big game here, and it's quite similar to the last one. QPR unbeaten in six. Won five of those, and they won their last game 4 0 against Reading. So a big unbeaten run again versus Middlesbrough, who have won six out of their last eight and they've only lost one. So again, like Preston, only lost one. This might be a bit of a higher stakes game as Middlesbrough are right outside the playoffs and QPR are obviously in there with a bit of a gap I think again this has to be called the same way I can't really choose a team in this I think QPR are very consistent probably one of the most consistent this season so I'm going to go down the middle one all and the last game another big one between two teams that got relegated from the Premier League last season Sheffield United versus West Brom. Now Sheffield United won three in a row, the last one 2-1 against Blues. West Brom lost three of their last four and it led to Valerian Ishmael being sacked and they've brought in none other than Steve Bruce. The way I'm going to predict this game is based on one, Steve Bruce coming in, new manager, big team, normally get a result. And two, Sheffield United against Blues weren't very impressive. Like the fact that they won and didn't play impressively is very good for them. But the first half, they didn't have a shot. And that comes against our defence, who have been awful for the majority of this season. At, at least since Sarkic has gone anyway. They have been very poor. And... Yeah, the second half came from an offside goal the winner did, like Billy Sharp was offside in the build-up. So, I wasn't very impressed with them. I don't think they created many issues. I think we're just not good enough to stop any issues. And West Brom, with Steve Bruce, will be a lot better defensively. 
And uh, yeah, I think they'll be very tight at the back. So basing that off the Blues game, I think West Brom are going to win this one. Low score line, 1-0. So those are my predictions for these championship fixtures. Let me know down in the comments what your predictions are. Please like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more championship content. And I've also started a Blues Football Manager career mode. Episode 3 was out this week and I'm on deadline day now. So any players you think I should go and try and get, realistic, haven't got much money at all. So probably free agents or loans, but head over to my Football Manager video and comment down below there who I should try and pick up. Up the Blues.